everyone. Welcome to Stardew Valley. My name is Kangaroo Coffee, and Kangaroo Court is now in session. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today we will be talking about honey. Uh, so honey is something you can produce in Stardew Valley, and it's something that you can use to make a lot of money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about, first of all, the uses of honey, how to obtain it, and uh, just in general what it can be used for. So, uh, first of all, uses of honey. Uh, there are a few. Um, the first one is that it is a great gift. Uh, so most of the characters in Stardew Valley uh, like honey. Uh, it is a liked item for them, and that is regardless of the type of honey it is. And we'll talk about the different types of honey here pretty soon. But uh, the, the villagers, for the most part, like honey. They don't love it, but they like it. Now, there are two villagers, uh, Maru and Sebastian, who actually straight up hate honey. Now, I don't know what it takes for a person to hate honey, but they do. So, anyway, maybe they're allergic to, some, to it or something like that. Uh, but in any event, they, they do not like it very much. So, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's one of its uses is as a gift. Uh, another use uh, that it's great for is, uh, you know, selling uh, primarily. You, know, you can make a lot of money from it. Uh, particularly the different types of honey that we'll talk about soon, uh, the types that you make using different types of flowers in the game. And so all of those flowers allow you to make honey that will sell for a lot more money and for a fairly small investment on your part. So we will uh, we'll talk about all, all that as well. Um, and so uh, honey is also a crafting recipe, uh, so that's another use for it, but it's only used in one crafting recipe, I believe, and that is for the, uh, for the, warp, for the warp totem, the farm warp totem. And so you know, before you have the return scepter, which is a very expensive item in the game, but great, by the way, if you can afford it, it's so awesome. But if you don't have that yet, if you're, if you're not quite in that stage of the game, then warp totems are great, and, and that allows you to instantly return to your farm. And so uh, um, that's definitely something that I would, I would recommend um, using honey for as well. And it can also be used in tailoring. And so it can be used to make a, uh, in Emily's sewing machine, to make a simple dress that can be dyed. And so that is another usage for it as well. So, uh, so we've learned a little bit about what honey can be used for. Now the next question is, how do we obtain honey? Well, it's pretty simple, really. There are really two ways to obtain honey. Uh, you can either produce it yourself using bee houses on the farm, uh, or really in the town. You can put the bee houses anywhere, actually. Uh, but uh, it's either through bee houses or you can buy it. Okay, so those are the two ways of, of getting honey. So as far as producing it yourself using bee houses, that raises the question of what are bee houses and how do you get them? Well, I'm here to show you a basic farm, a basic honey farm here using fairy roses, which is the most profitable flower to use to produce honey. And this is not a, uh, you know, a super efficient <laughs> design layout or, or anything like that. You know, I, I, I built this really before I knew too much about it, but it does the job and it produces, as you can see here, fairy rose honey. I also picked a pineapple while I was at it, but fairy rose honey sells for a lot of money. And the reason that we're getting fairy rose honey is that these bee houses are right here within five blocks of these fairy roses that are full grown and are just right here within five blocks of the bee houses. So as long as you're within five blocks of the bee houses or within five blocks of the flowers, then the honey that's produced by the bee houses will be, uh, will be infused with, that, uh, with the essence of that flower. Okay, so how do you make bee houses? Well, thankfully it's pretty simple. There are four crafting ingredients, and that is 40 wood. We have right here, one iron bar, one maple syrup, and eight coal. And so that will allow us to build a bee house. Now, the way that you acquire the bee house recipe, you don't get it right away as soon as you, as soon as you start the game, but you get it when you level up to level three in the farming skill. So once you get farming level three, so in your skills here that you can check right here, okay, once you get up to farming level three, then you will get the recipe, crafting recipe for the bee house, 
which again is 40 wood, eight coal, one iron bar, and one maple syrup, which we have in our inventory. So we'll just click that. And now we have ourselves a bee house. Okay, so one cool thing about producing honey on Ginger Island, if you're in the stage of the game where you have access to Ginger Island, is that on Ginger Island, you can grow flower-based honey year round. So on, uh, on your regular farm back in Pelican Town, you can only grow or produce honey rather uh, during every season other than winter. But in winter, your flowers die and your bee houses will no longer uh, produce honey, not even the wild honey. So you won't be able to get any honey in winter um, by producing it yourself unless you have it here on Ginger Island. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning that bee houses do not work in the greenhouses. So uh, uh, that, <laughs> that would have been kind of a convenient way to get around the Ginger Island thing if you're a little bit earlier in the game, but uh, unfortunately that, uh, that does not work. So anyway, you'll want to uh, uh, you know, try to get access to Ginger Island as soon as you can, and then that will really help as far as uh, producing a lot, of, uh, a lot of honey, whether that's you know, flower-infused honey or just, uh, just regular wild honey. Okay, so that's how you can produce it on your farm and on Ginger Island. And oh, by the way, it takes four days uh, once you place a uh, once you place a bee house. It'll take four days uh, for that bee house to begin producing honey. This one is within. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's a little bit outside of five blocks, I think. So this one should get just regular wild honey. And so in four days, uh, we will find out if, uh, if that's the case. But uh, I believe that that is the case, and so we will find out uh, in four days once that honey is ready. Now, the other ways to find honey, uh, to acquire honey, are by uh, buying it at the, at the traveling cart. Uh, so sometimes it's available at the traveling cart. It can be anywhere between uh, 300 gold and 1,000 gold uh, at the traveling cart. Uh, and uh, it's also available on Fridays uh, at the Desert Trader. Didn't think I'd forget that one, did you? <laughs> um, uh, or that you can buy it at the, uh, at the Trader, at the little Trader stand at the Oasis at the Desert. Uh, and so you can, uh, you can buy it from the, the Desert Trader for, uh, for 200 gold on Fridays. And so that is another way of acquiring honey. Uh, interestingly, when you buy honey uh, from either of those sources, what you get is just called honey. Uh, in other cases, the honey that is not flower infused is called wild honey. So like what you'll get from your bee houses um, is, is wild honey if it's not uh, infused with a flower. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the flower infusions. Uh, so what are they? You know, what flowers can you use? Um, well, it's, uh, it's fairly straightforward, really. You can use any flower uh, that is not normally foraged, right? So you can't use daffodils, uh, sweet peas, uh, crocuses, things like that. Um, there's our fairy rose honey, and so that's going to get us a lot of money. Uh, and so you can't use things like crocuses and, and the other flowers that I mentioned that are primarily used uh, as forage. But the flowers you can use, I'll go ahead and put on the screen uh, the flowers that you can use, the, um, the seasons uh, that you can use them in, uh, as well as uh, their sale prices. So we have Tulip in the spring uh, for 160 gold. And so these are base prices. The artisan profession raises these prices by 40%. So that's definitely, you know, if you're planning on producing a lot of honey, then I would definitely recommend going for the artisan profession once, uh, once the game gives you that option. But without the artisan profession, you know, you're looking at 160 for, um, for tulips, uh, for tulip uh, honey for sale uh, that you can get in the spring when you're growing tulips. Uh, Blue Jazz, also in the spring for 200 gold. Sunflower in the summer and fall uh, for 260 gold. Uh, summer Spangle, which of course is in the summer, uh, for, let's see, 280 gold. Uh, Poppy uh, is another summer flower, and so that one, uh, when infused with honey, will uh, get you 380 gold, so that's a good one. But the best one uh, is definitely the Fairy Rose, um, which is uh, a fall flower. 
and uh, and that will get you uh, 680 gold, uh, and that is without the artisan profession. With the artisan profession, uh, fairy rose honey is 952 gold. Uh, so that is fantastic. Sells for a ton. You know, 952 gold is definitely a significant amount of money in Stardew Valley. So. You know, definitely something to, to think about going for and, and doing a little bit more often, growing that uh, or producing that honey and, and, you know, producing it near uh, within five blocks of fairy roses because uh, that will definitely get you a, a nice profit margin. Do it with the artisan profession, and then that gets you that 952 gold, which is just fantastic. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so we've talked about you know, how to get honey. Uh, uses of honey, uh, how to make more money with it using flowers. Um, and so last thing I'll mention is that, you know, again, doing this on Ginger Island is just fantastic because you can grow any flower, any time, you know, so uh, you know, as you can see, you know, like we, like we saw earlier on, on my farm here, we have fairy roses, you know, and it's currently spring. Uh, in the game, those fairy roses are just fine. They didn't die uh, at the change of seasons. So, uh, you know, I definitely recommend, you know, when you do this, uh, you know, get to Ginger Island as soon as you can. But even if you're not at Ginger Island yet, it's still definitely worthwhile to do this. 952 gold for uh, each bottle of, uh, or each jar of, of fairy rose honey that you get is just fantastic. So, uh, that adds up quickly, and, and it's something I definitely recommend going for. So, anyway, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. I think that this is, uh, I hope this has been a, a very helpful video for you. And uh, Kangaroo Court is now adjourned. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm Kangaroo Coffee. Take care. Bye bye.